Welcome back to another vlog everyone. Today we are in the sleepy seaside town of Arcachon. I say sleepy seaside town, in summer it's not, it's absolutely rammed with people. We're in this affluent town looking for antiques for the passion project and today there is an auction. The prices look extremely good and the furniture looks of great quality. Let's go and have a look. So here we are, got here, and through the window I've had a sneaky peek, there's absolutely loads of great stuff here. Let's get in, and today we're going to mainly focus on pieces that we want for our passion project, aren't we Anna? Yes we are. Ed. I did spot a little piece for Billy in the window. I've sent him a photo, but I'm on 3G and it's not gone yet, but uh, let's see if Billy comes back with... Uh, any any questions on lot number 157? Let's get inside. You saw you saw this, didn't you, Anna? And you liked the sound the sounds of this, didn't you? I did because we could put it just at the entrance of the passion project, where the mosaic floor is. Yeah, um, this here is lot number 209, and uh, without going into too much detail. Because really, for us, the interest is, do we like the piece and, um, and is it a good, you know, good price? Any pieces that we actually manage to buy, we can, we can explain a little bit more to you in the next vlog when we actually put them in, in, the, uh, in, the, in the house. This one is actually on at 120 to 150 euro. Right that, up my alley. That isn't the price of Bordeaux Cancons, is it, Anna? No. Okay, so let's move around to this side now. So we'll put a little circle around that one, Anna, yeah? Before we go any further, we are playing the Edward Anna drinking game today, where every time I say Anna and every time you say Ed, people have to have a drink of whatever, you know, wine, beer. I suppose it's wine o'clock, so we could have a sip of wine, maybe. Sip of wine, yeah. Okay, let's go over here, Anna. So on this side, um, there's really only one thing that I think we're interested in, which is this Napoleon uh, three clock, um, number 214, and it's on at 120 to 150 euros. That's the starting price. The, that's, yeah, the kind of range that they're thinking they're gonna get for it. So let's see, um, go across the other side of the room because there's my favorite things are all on the other side of the room. And I think yours are too, aren't they, Anna? Yes, they are. Let's go. I'm liking what we've just found out. Are you, Anna? I am. There was no label on these chairs, which means people might not realize that they're in this sale. Of course, when it goes under the hammer, they will. But a pair of chairs, which I'm sure we could find a place for in the Passion Project. They're beautiful, they're beautiful. And that red well, is stunning. Did I tell you the price? Nope. Estimate. Have a guess, Anna. I don't know, I'm just in love with the colour. 60 to 80 euros for the pair. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. All, all of these prices are subject to, I think, is it 24%? Uh, premium. Yes. So that 24% that is how the auction house make their money. Um, but I think we'll be bidding on those, won't we? Definitely. That leads us to one of my favourite pieces in this sale. There are two that I absolutely love and this piece here is one of them. It's Napoleon III again but it is a exceptional quality. It is. That might actually look nicer in the entrance. Listen, I 227, think. let's just look at the price first. Mm -hmm. Three to 500 euros. That, I think, if that is the price. It's good. Yes, and my birthday is coming up in Hold on, hold on. Weeks? Yes. How many auctions, how many brocants have we been to over the last couple of years and haven't really spent that? Uh, a lot. Pretty much all of them. Yeah, a lot. 
Right now, we're buying for the passion project. Something that we always wanted to do. Yeah, but something that we'll need as well. All yeah. these pieces, we're not just going willy-nilly buying. We've got our no. list. And we will find a place for something like that if we oh, buy it, of course. It. I can see it already. So I don't feel kind of almost guilty for spending the money as... as if we get to get it at a reasonable price. If whatever we get. Um, but today, I honestly think with these prices, if we can get anywhere near these prices, we're going to be spending quite a bit of money. And I think I'm going to have to come back with a van. <laughs> well, hopefully that won't go in the van. It's a bit delicate. Yeah, of course. Let's move on to the next piece. You're doing a lot of circles there, Ed. I, I just don't, I don't get this. These, we were in Bordeaux at Cancans, weren't we? Yes, but and, this and, makes me realise that was, was it overpriced there, maybe? I don't know. Maybe things have changed as well. Maybe nobody's got the money anymore. Maybe those prices are going down as well, but I don't think they'll come down to these kind of prices. But look, no. 225. So this is where the gentleman used to read his paper. Or with the lady. Yeah. Okay. I think uh, the lady. Yeah, it. we'll not have a, a discussion. Of course, back in the day, it was all kind of gentlemen doing things and whatnot. But okay. But you'd, you'd be stood that with the window behind you. No, no need for that anymore. But they are beautiful objects. And this one is perfect. I think they made an error. 100 to 150 euros. I, I think that's like, that's like jackpot for us, if possible. To be fair, the two we've got in Vilnav, we need to renovate because yeah. they've always been in Vilnav. And it breaks my heart to see them like that. And OK, the renovation cost is going to be about four times that on each one, mm -hmm. maybe more. Yeah, possibly. But this is ready to go, finished. I don't think it's going to finish up at that. My heart of hearts, I think it's going to be about at least 600, but we'll see. It, you it never may... know, Ed, you never know. There's some amazing lots here, aren't there, Ed? Yep. Who were you chatting to there? Just checking prices? You've been sneaky sharing things with someone else and me before me? Yeah. Basically, there was that statue, and I know there's a clock around there that Billy would like. If he doesn't like it, maybe we'd, we'd be interested? I don't know. Uh, we'll have to check. Okay, so. There's a nice cabinet behind you. I know we don't have to go through every single thing. I know, I know. This one is slightly smaller than the one we've already bought. There are pieces of, of the kind of inlay missing. Yeah. So in some respects it's a bit tatty. It's been repaired here where it's got sellotape. Oh no, that's just sellotape to keep it closed. There are just pieces missing. Um, yeah, but... And, and, and all three be. of these all have either pieces missing, pieces bent. And for a rental property, I don't think any of these three are any good. Look at this, Anna. I, I like this a lot. Um, but look at it. Turn, turn the camera over. It's very nice, but yes, it's it's missing very so delicate. much, so much as well. I don't think it's right for a rental property. No. On saying that, it's probably going to go cheap, and somebody will get a great bargain. Yeah. So the price is justified then, because I think that's a really yeah. cheap price. And this table here is beautiful with that nice lamp, but yeah, but it's small and would be. Again, brilliant for a, for a home, but not for a rental. Is it expensive? Is it what, 228? 228. 50 to 80. <gasps> if it's that price, I'm getting it. I'm sorry. I can't say no. <sighs> yeah, but... I think anything that is going to be a decent price, like just behind you, you have a vase on a stand. Now, if that stand is like... Very, very good price. I could put flowers on that, like a flower pot. I know it's... 3, 4, 7, 50 to 80. Okay. Uh, okay, and what about 3, 5, 3? Because I quite like that vase. It's very nice, actually. All depends. That looks expensive to me. 4 to 600. 
yeah. not for a rental property. Maybe not, maybe okay, not. looking whilst we're here, let's have a quick scan through these paintings. Now we're looking for certain types of paintings, mainly for bedrooms, aren't we? Yes. So Napoleon could could no maybe the flowers up top. How about the flowers? That's for a kitchen. Napoleon. Eh, we could have a joke with Napoleon in one of the bedrooms, oh, but for me. A joke. Yes, the frame is. The there. frame's not in great, and and I know you can reframe it, but I wouldn't want to reframe it. No. This guy, exceptionally well painted, but just We're the subject. It's a portrait. No. There are some more over there, so there's one I like over there as well. Let's keep going. Okay. Those two chairs are calling me, Ed. Well, they've been calling me since I saw the actual lots online because, again, 60 to 80. So, beautiful little chairs. They will look great in a room if we can get them at a decent price. Yes. Um, let's move on to 203 now because I really like 203. And well, that is beautiful. And I can already see in which bedroom that could go. Well, let's hope it go with that one if we can actually get it. But again, 80 to 120, that's on that. It's beautiful, but let's not move too far. Look at that little, I mean, okay. it's calling me. Actually, let me just show you one, th one thing. I'm not saying no. There's one missing. It's okay. I'm not. Perfect. And there are two. So I actually prefer this one. Sorry, I'm going quickly, guys, because they're going to close the sale for lunch. I think that one is very nice, too. Now, there's one thing that worries me about this. And what is that? Yes, they are the same, I think. I think they've also just been used a bit more, but yeah, uh, this is all there. So I think we should go for two, two. Oh, uh, hold on, there was a. What was the technique now to close it? I'm going to leave it. I can't okay. remember the technique. I think you push on the sides, but it's yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't know. So that is 226, and that's on at 150 to 200. You remember the prices in Cancun? What were the they? They're, they're over five hundred. Well, you are the zero at least. Oh God. I know. Okay. So that's why I think I know the other one isn't as. I mean, it's missing one, but I think I. It would look amazing, in a dining room, like when you invite guests. Yeah, I think I like it. You like it, so. I think it's one of those things, probably not great for a rental property with it being no, a bit no, thingy. No, no, but, but that could be for... Could be for anywhere. Who cares? We like it. If we get it at a decent price, we will get it. I do like some of the paintings here, but again, the frame on this one isn't great. I know the painting's well over a thousand. No. I, think, I think we're at 1500 on that one. Uh, 282. Yeah, 1500 to 2000. Sorry. 282 is two to 3,000. No, Put a question mark next to that one because that's 1,500 to 2,000. I don't, I don't think we've, nice, I don't think we've got the money for that. that. No, 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 not, no, we need not, furniture. Not for rental. Yeah. Or so things that are more in, within our budget. There's another chair here, Anna. Oh yeah, oh that's, oh it goes together. I mean, it's the same mm. material. Well, yeah, it's complete. It doesn't have to go in the same room though, does it? So 206. Exactly. It's very nice. And I think creamy kind of, Painted wood goes where, with all of our, with everything we're looking at doing. And this desk is beautiful, but we're not looking for a desk, are we? No, uh, 400 to 600. Um, it's beautiful, but it's not particularly elegant. Um, probably really good for a rental property, but um, it's whether it's whether you think we'd have anywhere for it, Anna. But. I don't think so, unfortunately. Ed, I think you have found something. Well, you told me before about. Yeah, there's a lot of glass in this, um, in this auction. So I'm not really into my glass, and I know you are. I love them. I, I quite like those, but that's probably not what you're liking. I don't know. There, well, let me just show everyone as well. You want like the champagne color ones, right? With the yeah. very ornate ones. Yeah. And what is the price? Uh, 251, 251, 150 to 200, the Murano, of course. Beautiful. Well, I, I think I can make an except. I mean, I do like them. Th I that might want the Murano chandelier, but glasses might do. I have a problem with them. Why? I think 
Is there one missing? Yes, one missing. Ed, you went past it before, but that little chair there goes really nicely with the little, uh, what did we call it, a day bed? Yeah, so before we go on to this chair that you just mentioned, Anna, I just wanted to have a little bit of gossip. It's a bit of sale room gossip here. Go on then. So I noticed some, some guy. Now, he was a bit of a good looking guy. Had his shirt open, you know the type, the antique dealer, you know, that's, so kind of very good looking, trying to, trying to sell things with his looks. Anyway, he was looking along this piece of wood here. And so I went to the auctioneer and said, what's going on there? You know, he doesn't work for you. So why is he, why is he looking at that so, so much? He says, oh, there's a fake si signature on it. Oh. So somebody's tried to make it a lot, worth a lot more by putting, uh, a, uh, like kind of putting a signature of a big maker on it. That really doesn't matter to us, no. but what does matter is that guy's going to probably be going for it because, you know, he could probably try and sell it a bit more if it's got that signature on it. Well, that case. Um, but yes, back onto this chair, I'm 100% in agreement, that goes really well with the day bed that we're going to make in that bedroom. Uh, 197 and as per the rest of the prices, 40 to 60 euros in here. So that is fantastic. Okay, um, that is not our style, I don't think. No, you know, it, well, it doesn't go the, with the, the paravent place. In, the paravent that we have in, in the main bedroom that we're taking out, I'd like to replace it, but not with that. No. Not with that style. There is another pair of in here, but unfortunately it's not in this sale. Yeah, but that's like a future sale, it's just behind there. And I think there's one more painting that I have seen. I am trying to go really quick in here because there's so much stuff that we're wanting to go for. It's going to be a really long vlog if we don't, so I'm sorry if I've been rushing around not really talking too much about the style and the age and this and that. But I'm just trying to get everything in so you don't miss anything. 316 is the one you're liking, is it Anna? Yes, I think it's David Austin, Juliet Roses. If yes, everyone thinks I, it's a different variety. I, I concur with that. I was, that's exactly what I was thinking, Anna. Uh, 316, two to 300, so. Beautiful. Can, can I just say something at those kind of prices? If you go in the street, you know, to an artist in a street or to an artist in a gallery, there's no way you're going to be paying less than that anyway. So, you know what? If you like it and it goes for that kind of money, we're getting it. Getting it, that's for sure. Oh, we'll see, because I think, I think it's a bit more than what I was expecting. There's, yes, I was looking at I've, the, there's I've, two, but I think one is even better. So Anna's talking about the chandeliers. Let's have a quick look at them both. If I say chandeliers, they're more like light fittings, really. Yes, but I can see Lalique. I mean, definitely Lalique-esque. I don't know whether it is Lalique or not. You'd have to. That. 246, let's have a look. So it's 1925, 30, Art Deco. Yeah. No mention of Lalique. It's... 150 to 200. I think it's beautiful. It does look like a, well, it's Art Deco. It's a okay. shame if it's not Lalique, but maybe we can afford it if it's not Lalique. Who cares if it's not Lalique? If you like it, you like it. It's like wine. Who cares if you like a bottle of wine that costs five euros or if you like a bottle of wine that costs 500? Well, it's the, your taste the, and the it doesn't matter. The wallet matter. cares, yes. I have to say, I actually like both of them. Um, I don't know where I'd put them. Let's have a look at the other one. It's very nice, this one. Floaty. 247. Again, French work, but no Lalique mentioned. Oh, that's a shame. Three to 500, this one. And I can understand why. It's just yes. a bit more ornate. The, even the um, chrome work is, is, is actually really well appointed as well. It's kind of really that era it's kind of epitomizing it whereas the other one's nice it doesn't really epitomize that era this one does um we'll have to have a think about both of those see if we've got anywhere that we'd need them one or the other or both okay let's There's, i think we have we have to speak of something last because oh yes you mean what the auctioneer told us no, about no not that i think it's behind you and it's irale so the, va the, the vases behind you? Ah, yes, of course. Two, I four. think 
Yeah. And they Jeez. are, they're meant, I mean, they are original. I can see the signature from here. Oh, Anna. Uh, there I was trying to say everything's really well priced, everything's really cheap. I don't know whether cheap's the right word, but you know, not too expensive. And there you come up trumps, don't you? Well, it's not that, it's just I didn't see it before. It was like, you know, the I saw it before, I but I looked at it and thought, hmm, that looks expensive. Let's move on. Yeah, but I think it's. 241, it's on for 2,500 to 3,000 euros. And? 243 is not galley. Oh, but there's meant to be more. Oh, there's more on the window display, okay. Yeah, they're small and not that interesting, I don't think. 243, 120 to 150. Okay, I mm. think there's one that's within my budget and one that isn't, but I do but like the original one. That's the, that, neither of those are going to be any good for our no, project, no, are not, they? So I quite like this painting here that we've just come back round to. That is beautiful, but for the sitting room. Well, in our sitting room, do we have any paintings? Well, I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe. I think I'll put flowers everywhere. I don't okay. think I want the... Although you can... Yeah, oh, you can tell it's a beautiful one. It's really well painted. It is. How much is it? I bet it's a coffee. No? Just wait. Where are you going? I'm giving it a wide berth. What, it's expensive. Yeah, 1000 to 1500 Okay, nice. Rental fresh. property, not the piece for us. No. As per usual, Anna has to have the last word. She says, put a circle around that one. It's a little, oh, it's a little, you, you, you have every, uh, every reasoning behind you there. 215, it's for the end of a bed, you say? Yes. Even in the blue room, possibly? I don't know whether it's yes. same blue. Maybe somewhere. It's, it's 30, to, 30 to 50, Anna. If it makes you happy, I'll be buying it. Oh, that's so generous of you, Ed. I know. And uh, Husband of the Year Award uh, application will be in soon, and so you can all vote on how much of a brilliant husband I am. The auctioneer did ask us to talk about one piece because he said it's really interesting and yes. he thinks it's gonna, it could just go wild. So it's Vietnamese porcelain, mm -hmm. which I haven't really heard of. Obviously this guy knows a lot more about antiques and, and, and porcelain than I do. It's, it's number 345, it's on at 800 to 1200, wow. but he seems to think it could just go wild, like a lot over. We probably won't be here for that piece because it's right at the end but and we have to get back to the kids. So even yeah. some of the things that we want, he's going to have to call us back possibly if, it, if things drag yeah. on. Yeah. Um, but yeah, really interesting. Anna, I'm taking you for lunch and then we're coming back and uh, we're going to buy the lot. <laughs> I wish. So guys, it's starting now and um, our first lot is going to be actually for Billy, which is going to be that statue of Jesus. It's not for another hour and a half, something like that. Um, so we'll, we'll start recording in an hour and a half. So this is uh, Billy's statue that he asked me to go for and it's the 17th century. So 17th century statue in wood. 350, 350. No, I can't. But 350 then. <laughs> 400. 400. 400. <laughs> Here we go, this is the first of our months. Um, 
Oh, Fairly oui. cheap chair, really. Normal. 40 euros, on est contre. Euh, merci pour 40 euros. Je ne sais même pas si je dois vous remercier ou d'en vouloir. <laughs> so he's not happy with me because I got it for 40. So this is the next lot for us. Um, again, probably going to go fairly cheap with Bordeaux colour, not Beaujolais. Uh, what did he say? Bourgogne. Uh, no, no, it's a Bordeaux colour because he's from Bourgogne. Bourgogne. Isn't he? I think it's Bourgogne. Okay. Let's see how much these two go for because this could be a real bargain again. So. Ça c'est la droite, 110 contre vous. Qu'est-ce qu'on fait 120. So we got that for 120. Un bureau, qui est celui sur lequel se trouve Clément. Double face, de style Lucien, très joli. Je ne crois pas que je pas le vendre. 300 euros, personne. 300 euros pour ce bureau. Est-ce que quelqu'un veut le faire ou pas C'est pour 300. Ok. So we decided to just go for a, a desk that we didn't think we were going to go for for 300. Um, that should look good somewhere in, in the passion project, shouldn't it? Yeah. He did drop it another 100 than what he estimated, 4 to 600. Here we go. So this is the French Lovejoy that was after this. So the people in the UK will understand who French Lovejoy is because there was a, a series uh, in the UK. So this is 203 and it's on for 80 to 120. Allez, 120, 130 au fond en droite. Pendleg, 150 au fond, 160, 10, 180, 10, 200, 10, 220, 230, 240, 250. Twist off or not? Ten more. It's not too bad for the final. Ten more. No. I don't want the idea of it being sign. Almost fake. Just leave it then. I think we did a better affair with the with the desk. Yeah, that's right. Three hundred more than that. Yeah. That's it. What, what did you just nod on there? Right? This one behind you. <laughs> this one in the window. No. C'est pas celui-là. C'est dans la vitrine. Je peux aller voir. Je m'excuse, je m'excuse. Merci beaucoup. C'est avec le marbre en off. Ah, bon. Je crois qu'il est bon. Je crois qu'il est bon. Si vous n'en voulez pas, je dirai OK. Mais 500 euros, c'est pas cher. Mais c'est ça. On ne la livre pas. Pas bien, on en a pas. C'est bon, on ne l'a pas. Merci. Un excellent achat pour le 35. 500 euros. C'est le one I wanted to get. OK, next one is... Le 206. Un petit accroi signalé. 30 euros. 30, vous êtes 2, 40. On l'a 50 au fond. 70, 70, 80. I don't think we're going to go for this, I don't know what you think. I think 100 was the maximum or 80. Yeah, I think it's going to go away. I like it though. 80, it's Mr. 100 on the right. Come on, come on, come on, 110. Leave it, Anna, 110 is too much. It's not cheap. 130, it's a generational conflict, I didn't say it. Oh no, never, never, never. 130, Mr. It's for you. No. One time, two times on the internet, we let it go. So here we go, 208, uh, the pair of chairs. Now I think this is more important that we get these than the single chair on its own. Le 208, je vais gentiment commencer pour cette paire de perches, elle a 60 euros. Boum 120, 130. Vous êtes pas intéressé par ça Trop bien refaite. So he's trying to sell it to somebody else, I'm on that one. 140 entre vous, 150. I'm on 150 now. 150, c'est monsieur, c'est mes étoiles, c'est à vous. C'est 
Est-ce qu'on va monter sur Internet Oui Non Oui Oui 210 Parce que je suis gentil. 210 En voulez-vous encore sur Internet I think it's got to a, a point where we no. get it for two turns. Or two turns. Pond. You, you go to a, 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 a new shop. How much are we in for for two turns? Much more than double. More than 600 euros for something decent. Are we winning or no? Yes, we're winning. Trois fois. Louis we'll XVI um, would look great in the Passion Project Hall, but let's just see what somebody goes for. We might get it cheap. Nice. So we got that for 120. So we're bidding on the next lot, which is 214, which is a, a mantelpiece clock uh, from Napoleon III. It's coming up soon, and then we'll be closely followed behind by Anna's little blue chair. Leave it at that, yeah. Go to 200 if you want. Mm -hmm. Here we go, Anna, here's your little chair. I think it may have been a piano chair, piano stool, but it'll look good at the end of a band. Yeah. Twenty. Twenty. It's a little bit expensive for what it is, really, these days. Okay, so this next lot is the one that we're looking at. I got it wrong <laughs> because there was an A and a B. Uh, I think I said something like 100, and it's at 450 to 650. So we got that in at 450. I don't think anyone's going to bid on that. So this is your Cavalica that you're looking at, Anna. 226. Anna's bidding on this. So, one that for 200, that's great. What a, what a great piece. Here we go, this is our favourite one of the whole auction. Let's just fingers crossed for this one. Uh, this is an absolutely stunning piece of furniture. Salle à 300. 350, 400, 50, 450, 500, 500, c'est monsieur, c'est pas vous. Vous n'en voulez plus, 500, c'est votre voisin. 550, trop pour vous. Vous en voulez encore 600. 600. 700. Stop. 700, c'est monsieur. Do you want to go 750 last time? 720. 750. 780. Ah, it's a tier. 800. 800. Leave it. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. But, but sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. So I was going to be tempted by this one. Uh, it's a big service of Saint Louis. If it goes cheap, we might get it. 46 glasses. Okay. Yeah, it's not going to go cheap, is it? You want to go for it? Right? We can say 350. Count. Leave it. Uh, no. No, Anna. No. Remember this, Anna. It was, I the, do, eh? it was the commode that I wanted that you bid on mistakenly I and bought for me. One.
I actually love that and I think it goes really well with those little bedside tables in the room with the little day bed that we're going to use. Yes, you're right. And I that chair will go perfectly as well. So It will. I think in the end it <coughs> works. And to be honest, I've completely forgotten. I know the things I bid on, but I've completely forgotten the stuff you went absolutely mental on and just I, started putting the hand up all the time. Because well, I think it was a good price. Yeah. Like I said, if, we, if I think it's worth the price and we need it, we will go for it, and that will be needed in that bedroom. Should we have one last look at the one that got away, Anna? Uh, no, because I, I get... Well, I can show everyone, yes, but... 850 no. without the hammer, uh, with, on the hammer, so that's what, a thousand, over a thousand, uh, thousand over and fifty. A thousand, yeah. No, not for us at that price. We saved that uh, gentleman's reading merble, I don't know what you'd call it in English, so I'll call it gentleman's reading piece of furniture. We saved it from going to an antique fair and sitting there for probably the best part of a year before it got sold for a lot more. We got that for what, 450? No one wanted it. So 450 that's... plus the hammer, so we'll be at what, 550, something like that? Yeah. It's 570 something. Absolutely great result for us. Next week, Anna's, we're gonna come and pick them up and Anna's gonna show us all where they're going. Yes. And we have a surprise for you the same day as we come for this. We have a secret guest. Well, not a guest. We have a returning member of our team. So, you'll have to be watching next week's episode. It was, hope you enjoyed today's vlog. We had an amazing time. Hope you had an amazing time. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Um, so yeah, see you all next time.